fashion to beauty to celebrity to teen issues, you know, everything. Zac Efron and, and <laughs> I don't know. Zac Well, we're, yeah, we're trying to sort of, one of our big things is really uh, promoting positive role models for teen girls as well. So, <laughs> so Zac this is you guys. <laughs> That's so we don't have Lindsay or, or Brittany. I'll, I'll give you a two minute towards the end. <laughs> yep. You were adding one minute and then wind up with the two slices. Yep, okay, no worries. The Santa okay. Claus <laughs> And we are... Okay, so you guys are the stars of um, Angus Thongs and um, Snogging, and you're teens, playing teens in this movie. So how do elements of the film relate to your own life as teenagers? I think a lot of it kind of does. I think anyone that watches the film looks at it and thinks either, oh yeah, I'm, I did that, or I'm going through that, or parents look at their own kids and think, yeah, they're doing that. I think everyone can relate to it, but for me definitely, like quite a lot of it, like take away like the stupid stuff like dressing up as an olive or boy stalking, but <laughs> like... you don't do that? The whole ups and downs of like the relationships and your parents and sort of the angst and everything, definitely you relate to. And what about you, Aaron? What elements of it did you yeah, relate to? Yeah, a lot of it reminded me of like school life really, like... Uh, so I was a little bit older so I already kind of went through that, but I, I enjoyed it because it was, it was, yeah, a lot of it was sort of you know, what you've been through, like relationships and friendships breaking up and everything, so it was a good laugh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of covered the whole gamut of uh, what a lot of teenagers go through, I suppose. Everything from friend issues, boyfriend issues, through to the first kiss and even, you know, covering things like divorce. So I guess, you know, in terms of um, those elements of the movie, which particular element related to each of you the most? At sort of the time of the film, the parents kind of things, for me, was kind of relevant. But sort of friends as well, like always, all of it really. I suppose I was at that age when it is all of it and it's kind of fun. It's like living a double life, I suppose. <laughs> exactly. I think there's a lot of... Uh a lot you can relate to like even like because a lot of people are saying as well like it's just for girls like teenage girls but it's not like it's it's got a mixture of you know it's got the guys in there where like, they're going through situations as well and like Dave Lalaf's character who's really like really in, really like falling for Georgia and um but like she's not interested in him so he's he gets his heart sort of broken a little bit so I think there's a there's a lot in there so yeah it's just a lot and friendships as well. It's like first time situations, yeah. you know, that's like what well, they're like sort of covering everything, you know. So. And I have to ask that snogging scene. <laughs> that Which snogging one? scene. It was the emphasis on that, that snogging scene. <laughs> that snogging yeah. scene, which was the one with the guy who um, was yeah. the expert, I suppose, for your first snog <laughs> on the movie. Yeah. What was that like? That was just hysterical. Everyone was laughing at the screening I went to see. <laughs> Usually everyone like goes, everyone goes <laughs> um, That was probably quite <laughs> awkward to do. Simply because Liam Hesse plays Peter, that was his first like full day on set, and he had to come straight in and do, like, be this snogging teacher. And that's quite far away from him. He's like he is quite a character, but he's not full on like that. And I sort of invited all of the crew to sit around the room, and there was people on ladders looking down into the room in the studio. And I think it, I think it was quite scary. That's probably quite harsh of me to do because I was really comfortable with everyone. <laughs> But he, I was like, he had to get straight in at the deep end and sort of get on with it. And obviously, you then add saliva to the mix, which came out of a jar and had to be like cut away. That got quite messy. So it was a long day, a long day. Of <laughs> getting the snogging scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, okay, the mean girl, Lindsay. Either of you had experiences of that girl when during your school? I know you're still at school, but when you were at school? <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't have... Um, I think what's, what's quite cool, like, um, is that it's quite... It's quite... I mean, she's supposed to be, like, the really hot girl in school and, like... And also from fully developed as well, like, from your part. But you're a couple of years younger than her. Like, yeah. she's, she's, like, in whatever, like, last year's so sixth form, I suppose. And then... Um, but yeah, but like it's really, it's, you know, she's a very bland character and like, you sure. know, like she's, there's no personality to her. She's, and I think, you know, that's where like George's like crazy antics come from. So like, 
But it, yeah, like, it was a good message that the girl with the personality, you know, won the boy yeah. rather than just the, you know, perfect so-called perfect girl. So we liked that. And in terms of, um, you know, obviously the movie covered lots of relationships between the different um, characters. What about, you know, real life? Did any of that transpire <laughs> into <laughs> any ongoing relationships between characters? More like a family, really, wasn't it? At first, maybe, like, with it being sort of a load of teenagers, yeah. I think probably all the crew would say it was quite hormonal and lots of... <laughs> sort of running around and whispering and gossip and stuff, but that most, quickly Most of dies, the gossip was it? between Gorinda and Yeah, most like, of the gossip the was set from the adults, which, yeah, I don't know. I think we were more mature than yeah. the adults some of the days. We were like, quite Like, the biggest kid on, on set, so... <laughs> Maybe they were hoping for something to transfer. They do try and do that, don't they? They do like to... To add a bit that. of chemistry to the, yeah. <laughs> the and, filming. And, and, uh... Sean, who plays Tom, and uh, Tom Ella, who plays him. Jazz, they, they tried to set up loads of gossip just to hide their... What they were going yeah. to do. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah. right. A bit of they're, chemistry they're, in that. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and did you, I mean, obviously, you would imagine playing teenagers would come naturally. Was there much that you did to prepare for your roles? I think I think most of it was really kind of on. Uh, I mean, what was on the script was it was very natural and what's like we've all kind of been through before. So the fact that it was, you could really draw on you know experience. I don't think you re we needed to really yeah. prepare for loads of things. But I think Gorinda really brought out a lot of that as well because a lot of Gorinda's in 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 the script as well when she was writing it because she's obviously been through those so she drew yeah. a lot on her experience and then really like you know so it's to, to make it natural the so. main thing we worked on was just the group of girls as friends like just that they just made us be friends for two weeks that's all we did really just hang out together yeah, just, to be, yeah. yeah it was just to get to know each other yeah. and that's that was probably the most important thing because we could all relate to the script and we were all going through that kind of stuff and there wasn't really much that needed to be worked on like that it was just making sure we had the chemistry as Mm -hmm. a group of friends. And Aaron, you played a musician, obviously, in a band in the movie, um, but you're not a musician yourself, so how did you prepare for that? Like, what did you have to do? <laughs> well, yeah, there was a lot of... Um, I mean, when the band were actually, like... Cause the band were put together by Gorinda, and they did all their recordings at Abbey Road Studios, so I was going to see them as well and rehearsing, like, with them, but, like, not obviously recording anything, but... Um, you know, trying to get down, like, the, you know, the notes and, like, the sort of the way right. the songs go. So, yeah. like, I knew the songs before we go on, so I could improvise with it a lot, so... Which is really good fun, but, um... So, any inspiration from that experience <laughs> to turn your hand to music? I don't know. It was, like, obviously... I mean, I've got, like, quite a... Quite a great... Like, I'm into a lot of music, so a lot of different music, mm -hmm. so I guess you just watch a lot of live bands and stuff and how they are on stage, and I think, you know, you just try and look, like... And as, as well, like you got to look like you're you are a band together, and sure. they the boys and the Stiftin and are, and I'm I'm not. So like I've, you know, me going up on the stage and then trying to blend in with them was <laughs> quite important. And definitely, definitely looks all right. So. I have to ask about the cat. Like <laughs> that cat <laughs> kind of stole yeah. the show. Was that um, you know they say don't work with animals? Was that fun? Was it? Um, <laughs> did you have were, much to they, do? They were good. There was two of them. Oh okay. There was sort of the close up cat which got all of the beauty shots and the fancy dress and then there was the cat that did sort of the stunts and all the running oh, okay. and things and it's quite it's like really great to watch because they'll like just show the cat where it's got to go like put a piece of chicken down and the cat will do it <laughs> and remember what to do <laughs> and there were times like when like it wouldn't do it or it would be more yeah. interested in the actual food in the fridge than getting out of the fridge but they were like, it's quite incredible what they do. And what about next projects for both of you? I've got a couple of things we're looking at. I've just sat my exam, so I've had a year of time out <laughs> to do all of that kind of yep. stuff. But I'm sort of getting back into it all now, and hopefully there's a couple of things that will go my way. <laughs> I'm sure there will be. So. <laughs> what about you? Um, we're just um, in between sort of rehearsing on, another, uh, on a film called Kick-Ass, it's directed by Matthew Vaughan and uh, it's about like a bunch of superheroes but it's very violent and uh, quite graphic. So quite a change. It's going to be good fun. Pace. Well that's exciting. Well I want to thank you both so much for um, spending time with us and um, wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thanks.
Amen.